If somebody sends you an Excel workbook that was created in an earlier version of Excel, like 2010 or even as early as 97, wow, that takes me back, then you may want to convert it to the latest version, which is the current version that you have installed on your computer, like mine Excel 2016. Why? Because if it's really early, you're going to have less stabilization, so your Excel workbook may close out, collapse, or become corrupted. Also, you have what's called zip compression in the latest versions of Excel that makes the file size a lot smaller than those earlier versions. And I've got an example here. It's in my Exercises folder on the desktop. Double-click to open it up. And there are at least three ways that I want to go over that you can identify if an Excel workbook was created in an earlier version before you even open up the Excel file. And you can see which one of these is not like the other. Well, first off is the image, the icon. That X is old and outdated. And if you didn't know better, that was, well, the version of 2000, 2003, whereas opposed to these ones, when I hover over it, you can see in the pop-up, the type is Microsoft Excel. But when I go back to this one, in the pop-up, it says it was Microsoft Excel 97 through 2003. And that includes 97, 2000, 2002, and 2003. You can't tell what version, but at this point, it doesn't matter. It's just not compatible with the latest version, so it doesn't get tagged with this latest version icon here to let you know that that is not part of Excel 2016. And the other way that you can identify it is by looking at the extension. Now you have the name of the workbook, this one's called Convert, and then you have a dot. Whatever comes after the dot is the extension, it's three or four letters. Now if you can't see the extensions on your computer, well, you can watch my Windows training video on extensions because you want to be careful when you're playing with extensions so you don't turn the file into something that you don't want it to be so it opens up in another program that gives you a bunch of gobbledygook and you're like, what the fudge is this? In any case, you can see XLS, that's for earlier versions. The latest version, XLSX, that added X, is the XML or Extensible Markup Language that makes these files more stable and of a smaller size than if they were created in an earlier version. So to go ahead and convert this to the latest version, open it up with a double click. And you can see up on the top, on the title bar, it says it's in compatibility mode. That's another identifier that it was created in an earlier version to make it compatible with the latest version of Excel 2016. So to convert it, come over here and click on the File tab, go backstage, Info selected by default, and there you go. Compatibility mode. Some new features are disabled to prevent problems from working with previous versions of Office. Converting this file will enable these features, but may result in layout changes. So you may have to work with the layout if you've got something old and it doesn't quite convert the way that we hoped. In any case, to go ahead and convert it, click on Convert. And it says this action converts the workbook to the current file format, which allows you to use all of the new features of Excel, in this case Excel 2016, and it reduces the file size. Hey, smaller size, great. The original workbook will be deleted and cannot be restored after this conversion. Uh-oh. Okay. Are we good with that? Yeah. Click okie dokie. And then it says the conversion has been completed. To use the new and enhanced features of the current file format, you have to close out and reopen the workbook. Do you want to do it for us? Yes. So when I click yes, notice up here in the title bar, it goes from compatibility mode to, yes, reopens it, convert, and it added the extra X. So now we know it's extensible markup language and in the latest version. Cool. So when I go ahead and close out of the program and I look back here, there's the extra X, there's the icon. When I hover over it, it doesn't tell me that that was created in an earlier version from 97 through 2003.